Well, you've likely heard the famous lyrics, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, crystals may be Great Salt Lake's best friend now. R.K. Garner gives us a glimpse. Great Salt Lake has a lot of unique features, and when conditions are just right in the winter, it gets even more special with the formation of Mirabilite mounds, like the one you see behind me. On the shores of Great Salt Lake, not far from the marina, white crystals form massive mounds. The Mirabilite is a sodium sulfate uh, hydrated cryogenic mineral, meaning it only forms at cold temperature. Geologist Elliot Jagnecki says Mirabilite is a common mineral, but the formation of these crystal mounds occurs in only a few places on Earth and only recently began appearing at the lake. They started to appear in 2019 when uh, the lake elevation started to drop. Groundwater springs push Mirabilite to the surface, and if it's cold enough, it crystallizes. These nice tabular, clear bladed crystals, you know, and as that water is still spewing out, it's cascading down and making little um, terraces, terracets. Jagnicki says the crystals trap bacteria, chemicals, and even lithium that is found in the groundwater. It's become more of a groundwater study. You know, we tackled, we tackled the, the geology aspect of it. Now it's the groundwater. The trapped substances can be used to track changes in the groundwater supply. But the window is short. When the weather gets warm, the crystals turn to dust. Before that happens, the state park is offering public tours on the 18th, 19th, and 20th. So don't miss out. From Great Salt Lake, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.